Hey, Internet, I haven't done a video in forever, so I guess I'm going to do something new for um, everyone. Now, I've showed you how to uh, set up GNU and Visual Studio through the uh, command prompt. I mean, and not only that, but setting up your envir environment variables. But if you run into problems to where you have to, like, reset up your environment variables because you have to reinstall the OS or something happens, you have to delete the environment variables. Um, I'm going to show you how to create a batch file or it's a batch program that'll set it up for you automatically. Now, there are two different types of commands. There is a set command and then there is also a set x command. Now, each, each of these commands are formatted differently. So, with set, you would just say set and then you'll say it will say it's an include directory and we'll have to say equals and then we type out the stuff now with set x now with set x you do you don't you do um include and then you have to do the uh brackets and put in your stuff inside of here okay I also um, forgot to tell you the difference between set and set x. So what set does is that it's a temporary envir environment variable setup. Uh, while set x is permanent. So if you're working on a school computer and they won't let you set up the environment variables, you can use set and it'll be temporary until you close the command prompt. Uh, set does not require you, uh, to my knowledge, to have admin control uh, set X more than likely does. Now, Visual Studio, um, I have a, I have my file, I have my paths already put inside of here, so I can just copy them right on over. It's it's very simple. After you um, include all of these guys, okay, um one time you just have to it's it's very simple just copy and paste it over so set would look like this for you include while set x would look like that guy now there's other commands that you should also know uh, for people who don't know uh, what's going on and they're going to use it something uh, use it for something else uh, echo is like the print app or the c out of the command prompt so if you say echo um, to going to set your um, it's this is gonna set it up for you. Uh, this is gonna echo uh, your text to the command prompt. Um, it is it is this is very simple, but for most people, um, it's saying this set include or whatnot. I'm just gonna use the set x function. For us right now, so we're going to set x. Then we're going to do the lib because um, the lib uh, you have the include files and you have the library, and you also have the uh, lib path as well, and you also have the what is it? Oh, and you also have the regular path. As well. So let's go ahead and copy all those guys right in here. So this right, this guy right here is my library. As you can tell, they all end in lib. So we're just going to put these guys inside here. And then we're going to take these guys and I remember. Okay. Now, a uh, shortcut for dang it, um, Control uh, Z undoes what you've done, um, just in case you mess up like I just did. Also, if you hold down Shift and then N right here, so we're going to go to the beginning of this guy right here. And shift and then N. You see how it's uh, darker it, because it's highlighted all the text. 
uh, this goes to the end of the file so you can copy it and paste it in here. Now I use not only Visual Studio 2010 but I've also have GNU and Borderland set up inside of these path files. So now we can just now we can save it and we're just going to call this guy um, setting up environment setting up environment and make sure it's a batch file dot bat at the end and there you go now everything is highlighted correctly now if I go to my sandbox folder there we go I can see my batch file down here there we go. Setting up environment variables. Now you could double click on it and it'll come up or what you can do a shortcut in Windows 7 you can hold down shift right click on the folder and you will have an option called uh, saying open command window here. You can do that and it'll open it up and let's go to dir. Okay. So here we have um, the command prompt, and we're just going to say, well, right there. So we're going to do setting up environment dot that. Oh, I misspelled setting, so there you go. And if you look at it, got to kind of scoot this up here for you. Well, there you go. There you go. Success specified value has been entered. Let's scroll down. Specified value was saved. So as you can see, the set X um, worked, the path and everything else was created. Now if it's already been created, it's not going to reset it up again. Um, just letting you know that. And then if I open up my environment variables, if you actually use the Windows button and break, it brings up your system settings to where then you can go to advanced, environment variables. And you can see that they are in there. They include library, libpath, and path. So that is how you use how you can set up uh, have a have a batch file to set up your environment variables for you.